So let's talk Pixelbook. Pixel books. Pixel books. Yeah, he, Pixel he made it plural too. Pixel plural. Yeah, so it, it was one sentence, uh, but that's that's how uh, hopeless we are in the Pixel book world right now. <laughs> yeah. So was this <laughs> one in, sentence. A, in a a presentation or was it an interview with the Verge? That he talked with the Verge. They he didn't do. They didn't them. like okay. put. Yeah, they didn't put up the interview necessarily. Okay. But so they might. Because I was like, emails. if he said this in one of the IO chats and we missed it, shame on us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, no, it was a it was a thing to the verge, and that's yeah. probably why most people didn't see it. Um, it was generally uh, just like l- literally one sentence in the middle of them talking about the. They, they were actually asking about um, when they decided to ditch uh, tablets. When they said, "Okay, we're going to get rid of tablets," um, and then saying, "Okay, now you've come back to that. Like, why why did you come back to that? And what's what's going on with that?" And so he kind of basically said in the midst of that that you know they're. They're looking at expanding um, Tensor to to Pixel Books, um, and I want to get I want to get the quote right, so I'm pulling it up here real quick. Uh, but you know, again, it was I don't know. It was almost like just a side, like oh yeah, and and this is this is working. But he he said clearly for future Pixel Books. Yeah. Um, so the the cool thing here, let me read it to you. Osterlo did say Google plans to make more Pixel Books, by the way, but he wouldn't say when. Well, of course, he's not going to say when. Um, but the the crazy thing is for... Um, sorry, I just muted you all. Um, for the longest time, all we've had when it comes to uh, Pixel Book news or the idea of, like, we had some commits we were following. Those fell through. They were either abandoned or turned out to be something else. We had uh, Lindar with its light bar that we thought maybe that'll be something. And, chance, yeah. uh, and then there was another one with an assistant key. Uh, we thought that would be something. Nope. And so those all got kind of pushed to the side. And, you know, Google said they're not going to make any more tablets. And every Google rep we've asked about a Pixel Book, they've just been like, ah. You know, don't know. And so we had one, one, uh, well, actually, there was another story where a product manager or something for Google basically told Android Authority, I think, uh, that they wouldn't be making uh, any, pic- there would be no Pixel Books in 2022 or 2023. Um, and, and then they said, other than that, I don't know. And right. so that wasn't like, yeah, they're coming. They're just not coming yet. It was like, I don't know. Yeah, but it I, felt I tell more you, like, on, hey, we don't have anything on the roadmap right now because we're focused exactly. on other things. As well. And I feel <laughs> Which, like somebody at one point said that, like, right now, that's not on our roadmap. We're focused on our partners. Yeah. You know, so. Yeah. And that's when we talk like John Melitas and stuff. Like, that's the that's kind of the response we get from everybody from Google when we ask about this because – and I get it. Like, and we've talked about this ad nauseum. You know, like the the idea that you know Google makes a Pixel Book or a, a flagship Chromebook when they need to move the market somewhere. And then, so now it's like, okay, well, the market's feeling pretty mature. You know, with with devices that we've got in the office right now that I look at, I'm like, I don't I don't know where else Google has to push anybody. Um, and you know, for a little bit, I thought, well, Tensor's the reason. So Tensor's the thing that gives gives. Google the reason to go make another Chromebook. I'm like, well, where does that push the market to, though? Because we could make a, a claim that maybe, perhaps, at some point, that you know, um, Google might share Tensor with manufacturers, but probably not. I, I, I don't think they're going to do that, but they might. Um, they could. Uh, so, as far as the market's concerned, if we if we get a Tensor powered Chromebook, what does that what's that do for the the Chromebook market? I don't, I don't think it does anything. I mean, it's like, oh, here's a arm powered Chromebook from another manufacturer. Like, it doesn't change anything. We've got some pretty cool arm powered Chromebooks already out and plenty of them coming. So I'm like, that's not a game changer. But then it hit me like, I think Google's play here is less about moving the market forward this time yep. and more of a, we're, we're ready to move our market share forward yes. in this thing. It's And it's about Tensor. It's. It, it, <laughs> For Google, I remember figuring out years ago, like they made it clear, and it took me a minute to kind of get my head around it. But like once the assistant came out, it was like everything's going to be about assistant for a little while. Like that's just what they're going to do. And if it doesn't drive people towards using the Google Assistant, I don't think they're going to really dip a lot of money into this. And I feel like from the hardware standpoint, that's Tensor now. So uh, if if it doesn't push towards Tensor. I just don't think that they're too interested in it at this point. And it's up to now, 
building a new Chromebook doesn't do that. And we're not pushing the Chromebook market forward anymore because they did it. You know, they've, they've created a, a mature market, so you're not doing that. Um, but putting out a Tensor Chromebook, doesn't, if it doesn't push that forward, what does it do? And it would really help, um, you know, move Tensor forward in a different way because Google clearly wants to fight with Apple basically on, on common ground. So if, if Apple's making their own phone silicon, their own iPad slash tablet silicon, and their own laptop silicon, you would bet that Google wants to do the same thing, and probably for the yep. Pixel Watch too. I don't know that the first yep. one will have Tensor in it because they've been developing the Pixel Watch for a while. But mark my words, if this one doesn't, the Pixel Watch Two will absolutely have a Tensor processor inside, and everything yep. Google right. makes probably moving forward will be Tensor powered. And so this isn't about the Chromebook market; it's about Tensor. Like the, the, a, a Pixel Book Move at this point will absolutely be about Tensor, about saying, "Hey, our SOC." powers not only your phone but your tablets and your laptops and so that yeah. I, I, right. I feel and like that's, that's, that's the exactly reason the feeling there. i get yeah they've gotten to this place with their phones where they they've become an affor- affordable manufacturer who can compete and you said it yourself with the pixel book i mean it's iconic and at the time when it came out it did push the market forward but now we have manufacturers like hp who are making Chromebooks that are on par with the nicest Windows machines that you can buy. They have every feature you can think of. Uh, the work is being done on external GPUs and dedicated GPUs, and we'll see stuff like Face Unlock. All of this stuff is sort of self-perpetuating now because the manufacturers have have finally bought in 100% to the right. ecosystem and said, we have to make Chromebooks, and we have to make them good. Google doesn't have to do that anymore. They don't have to push that area of the market forward, but they can work on focusing on their chip, and then when the time is right, they can say, here is the next Chromebook by Google, and it will be in Because even now, you look at the Pixelbook, Yes, the Elite Dragonfly is awesome. It's premium. It has anything you can think of. If I were going completely on aesthetics, I'd rather carry a Pixelbook. Yeah. It doesn't have to be the most powerful device in the world. The Pixelbook Go is still an incredible device. It's nowhere near as powerful as other devices that came out that year. I, uh, or I capable. The, like, it's yeah, not as capable. Right. It just That's, isn't. But it's yeah. great to use. It's purely like, Google. I, yeah. Yeah. There's And there's something about that that, you know, I... I don't know. I know Google does. I know Google wants to work with their partners. I get that, and they don't want to come in and like. That's why you're not going to see another Pixelbook with 12th Gen Alder Lake, and every year they're going to make a new Pixelbook and fight with HP no. and all that. And they they want to work with these people and, and put out Chromebooks, but nobody else can make a Chromebook with Tensor in it. Uh, and and I think Google could shine a light on what it's like. Like I don't think other manufacturers are going to go build their own silicon to make a Chromebook. That doesn't make any sense. Uh, but Google can. Now just shine the light instead of saying, hey, let's get the market going somewhere else. It's like, no, we're, we're just going to be a little selfish at this point and, and point to Tensor. We're not trying to undersell other Chromebook manufacturers. We're trying to prop up and show off Tensor yeah. as a platform. And, 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 and do you all think that by doing that, they would open the door to say, hey, other manufacturers, if you want Tensor in your Chromebook, we've now you know opened it up to where you can have an HP whatever dragonfly powered I think that, by tensor i think they could if they wanted to but i think realistically realistically for that to be a profitable endeavor for them google would need to actually because apple doesn't make their own chips right right robbie they don't, they're not they don't, they don't fabri- have their they don't own fabricate foundry, them though. right they don't fabricate no i'm them. pretty i think they they fabricate the samsung right so you're talking about Google taking a chip from Samsung, tweaking it to be Tensor, and then re- and not saying they couldn't, but if this move is for them to grow their 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 hardware industry, yeah. I think they'd have to start uh, fabricating their own silicon, and I don't see that being on the roadmap in the near future. And it could be totally wrong. I mean, maybe there's enough there's enough profit margin in those types of uh, SOCs that they could do that, but yeah. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, I don't. I don't see that anywhere near reality. Uh, just yeah. because the fabricating. I mean, there's two. Technically, two there's pounds. a third one in China. Yeah. There's there's a third one now in China. Um, they just they came out with a seven nanometer process just yeah. the other day. I saw. Yeah. Is that um, Kieran? Is that the no, Kieran? that's the Kieran? name. That's the name of a um, a chip of some sort. I, uh, whoever okay. makes Kieran, Huawei maybe. 
this key yeah, ring. Sounds, sounds uh, good. But they, I think they use TSMC. Yeah. But this is an actual foundry, <coughs> like a, a fabrication um, oh, nice. place. It's okay. it's almost like TSMC. It's like MSSC or something. Well, I don't know. Okay. I don't remember what it was. But you know, um, it's they're they're trying to you know fabricate chips, and that's fine. But to the fact that if you think about it, microprocessors are in everything, you know, oh, all yeah. over the place. Um, for there to be only two real foundries <laughs> in the whole world it tells me that it's very difficult and or very expensive and or both. <laughs> um, yeah. Yeah. And so if that's the case, like for Google to make that kind of move, like they would have to be like the fact that Apple's not doing that already <laughs> right, right, tells yeah. me that it's, yeah. it's, Probably mm, way outside really, of Google's uh, really difficult. Uh, realistic abilities to do. I'm not saying they couldn't dump half of their finances into doing it, but I, yeah. I don't think that's going to happen. And so to, I agree with Gabe on that. If they're not going to be fabricating their own chips, then are they really going to to tweak you know existing fabrications to their specifications, get them out the door, and then sell them to people? I, yeah. I don't know. I, yeah, I, I remember that. seeing this last year, and I don't know if it's actually, if they've broken ground on it or not, but November of last year, Samsung announced that they were opening a second foundry in Texas. The yep. price of that foundry is $17 billion <laughs> from a company that is already <laughs> yep. doing it, that's not insane. a company that's right. starting from scratch. So, and, and don't get me wrong, Google has seventeen billion to put into right. it, but you know, but the ongoing investment of yeah. building a foundry and then doing it correctly, yeah. insane. Yeah, so <laughs> that's that's and why. probably and paying the paying the people that know how to actually do the founding, yeah, yeah. <laughs> foundering, <laughs> the found the foundry. Their job their job is so difficult. I don't even know what they're called. <laughs> they're they're founderiers. Yeah. yeah. But boundary founder, a fa- <laughs> found, um, yeah. I don't know. But I, I think uh, it comes huh. down to I, I think it comes down to Google's how Google wants to position this is all it comes down to. Mm-hmm. If if the next Pixel Book is what other Pixel Book slash Google Chromebooks have been, then yes, I think there is a chance that that um, Tensor is opened up to other manufacturers because Google's always positioned the Pixel Book to help move the market forward. And that it's never a self-serving thing. It's like, here's something to aim at. Try this, guys. Like, here's what we need to be doing. Um, but if they come out and they're not trying to do that, if they just come out with a awesome Pixel Book that is just everything they want to make in a Chromebook from a Google hardware perspective and it has a Tensor SoC in it, I'm going to lean towards no. I'm going to lean towards yeah. this as a change. It, it, mm-hmm. And maybe, maybe, I know Google doesn't do a good job of planning a lot of things like down the road. <laughs> but just maybe they've looked at this and gone, hey, guys, I think we, we've we kind of made it. Like these Chromebook manufacturers are getting it. We've got a good system going. We're going to keep working with them. Let's go. Let's let's compete. Yeah, let's go. Like it's time for us to go now and and be a part of this. So that w- instead of a Pixel Book every who knows how long, and it's a different device every time. I mean, think about it: Chromebook Pixel, Chromebook Pixel, sure. But then it was Pixel Book, Pixel Slate, Pixel Book Go. Like all very different devices again because they're serving the market. What happens if Google starts making Chromebook hardware to serve yeah. themselves, to serve the, the Chromebook, to serve the Pixel lineup? Because I feel like right. at Google I/O they finally went. You know what? All right, we're ready. Here's a here's, here's an portfolio. ecosystem. Here's a family yeah. of devices. Yeah, right. And if if that's the the play for the next Pixel Book, I think they did a great job of um, nurturing the, the 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 market and helping their partners. And they can continue doing that, but they can now become a competitor in that yeah. market, yeah. and and not I don't think upset anything because yeah. There's all these all these different ways that people go about choosing what Chromebook to buy, and they do it already. That's what they do with the right. Pixel. They exactly. they help Samsung. They work with Samsung on foldable stuff and all the crazy stuff Samsung wants to do, while at the same time having the Pixel team inside of Google. That we've heard this before. The Pixel team has to do everything the same way a Samsung or a OnePlus or anybody else would do. Like they have to go about their processes the same way. It's not like they get special treatment because they're Google hardware like they yeah. 
they access the same stuff that other hardware manufacturers do. And so there's still this, hey, we're going to compete with you, but we're also here to help you. It's a super weird thing, yeah. but they could do the same super weird thing in the Chromebook space moving forward. The, the market's fine now. They can well, they can go do that. And I guarantee you there are some very smart uh, <clears throat> financial folks and some market research folks at google that they might even had like a number right they like the the market need to needs to reach need certain to maturation or it needs to reach certain sales or whatever and then we'll kind of lean back yep. into this the intenser maybe lined up with that coincidentally or just it was part of the plan it, right. it could have just been kind of part of the ongoing plan and and now to see an ongoing line of pixel book that is hey this next year we get the Pixelbook 2023 with Tensor, and right. next year it's the Pixelbook 2024. You know, whatever. It's just the new version. Same thing as Mac. Yeah, right. That and I, and I can see them not Pixelbook. Air. I can see them not Air. not doing it a, a detachable anymore, like yep. they do an Android yeah. tablet, and they're not messing with. Because I, I think they they've fallen in and felt the the reality of the fact that most people are using Chromebooks to do task based things, like 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 what we're doing right here or, you know, getting work done or typing an article or, or finishing that paper up or, you know, doing that type of stuff where you're just requiring a keyboard and, and mouse most of the time. And so, you know, really focusing in on a tablet, maybe not the, the most important thing at the time. Um, and so maybe they'll have a pixel tablet and that's, that's just the pixel tablet and that's what they do with it. And it runs Android and the pixel book is always going to be a convertible or they have a convertible and a clamshell every right, year yeah. that come out, you know, and they have those two, or maybe they go only clamshell and they, they sure. do a larger and smaller, who knows they can do whatever they want. So they haven't created some precedent where they have to create the same thing over and over yeah. as much as I'd love to see them just take the original pixel book and yeah. run a few tweaks here and there yes. on it. God, yeah. it's, it was so close to almost perfect. I mean, yeah. anyway, yeah, I, I, yeah. The more we talk about this, the more we're sitting here talking about this. I'm like, I feel like that's the play, and I feel like yeah. that's why he said Pixel Books. Yep. Like I don't yep. think he meant it's this ongoing line in, in of, whatever. Yep. Yeah, 2023, 2024, whenever this thing shows up. I don't think he was saying like, oh, we're gonna have four Pixel Books. You know, I think it's gonna be the Pixel Book and ongoing Pixel Books. Like it's gonna be part of Google hardware. Like it's just gonna be part of that division, and and that's yep. that's their laptop. You know, and, and, and maybe they couldn't do that before because it's like, oh, we don't know what Intel's going to do or who's going to provide the chip for this. And right. they were kind of all over the place. But at I.O., it feels like they reined it in. They, they, they brought did. all those ideas into kind of one thing. And it's like, okay, this is coalesced into something. Let's make sure that the Pixelbook's part of that, but we need to make sure Tensor's ready. And then when it is, like, just like Pixels get a new Tensor, we're going to get the new Tensor and the new Pixels. Yeah. You know, whenever a new pic, uh, new Tensor comes out for a Chromebook, the Pixelbook's going to get it. Yeah. And the, the Tensor C I, or whatever right. you want to call it, <laughs> right? To go in the Chromebooks. Yeah, because yeah, it's like obviously you know cr cr Chrome OS and, and Chromebooks are such you know a a a a kind of large kind of market share and kind of brand, uh, a, a big portion of Google, right? When, right. You, when you think about the, the Google lineup and you think about, obviously, you know, everything that they're doing, they, they obviously are spread out and doing all of these different things, but Chrome OS is such a, a core part of that. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. I'm so glad that he said Pixelbook instead of Chromebooks. Like, yeah. please don't, please don't get rid of Pixelbook. That was oh, such, such a, a good name. name. It's such, it's such a yeah, good name. Yeah, because lest we forget... The Pixel lineage started with a Chromebook, right. not, a, not a phone. Right, it started in twenty thirteen. Bring it back. Yep. Bring it so. back. But then, Full then circle. Changing them, changing from Chromebook Pixel to Pixelbook was brilliant. Absolutely. I mean, it was such a good, and it's a great. Like it even rolls off the tongue. It oh, sounds yeah. great. And all these years later, like people still want a Pixel Book. They don't want to talk about a, a Google made Chromebook. They just want a. No. They want Pixel Book. Like yeah. that's something. That, it says something to you know yeah. that. Even with a device that probably didn't sell like crazy, they created some sort of marketing with it all, all by itself. Like it, it's an, it's interesting. Hey everyone, thanks so much for watching this clip of the Chromecast. If you want to see the full episode, you can check the link down in the description, or you can just go search the Chromecast podcast on YouTube. But we appreciate you watching this clip. If you like the content, give us a thumbs up. Go down there and click subscribe, and make sure to click the bell notification right there next to it so you get a notification when we publish future episodes. We appreciate you watching. We'll catch you all in the next one. See you.